Me. Hi, welcome to English. Obviously it's going to be a little bit different as we can't see you at the moment even though we'd like to. So we've decided to do an English project called Living in Lockdown and um, this is um, a workbook. You will get one of these, it will be online or we will post it out to you. Okay? And there's lots of different activities in here um, and each one I'm going to do a mini lesson for just to give you some support with it. Okay? So the first task is letter writing and as we know writing a letter is a form of communication so let's look at other ways we can communicate. Okay, what could be the purpose of a letter? So a letter, there are two types of letters, there are formal and informal letters so one might be to give, the main reason is to give information and to communicate that information with somebody else that you can't see or talk to. What's the difference between writing a letter and sending an email? As we know technology is really big and emails tend to be quicker maybe. Okay, as I said there emails tend to be quicker and they tend to be cheaper but I want you to ask yourself when you're doing this task, I want you to have a think about if you found it different to write a letter and how you feel writing a letter and if you can see any differences. Okay? So that's a question to you that I want you to have a think about while you're doing this. Okay. Letters have some common features that are found in all letters. These can be to do with structure or language. Structure is how a text is organised. As you can see, for example, some texts have a headline, some always have a conclusion, and they are written in a particular format. So they're written in a certain way, so that you know what they are. As I said, a letter is written in a certain way, that you'll always be able to recognise that it's a letter. Language. Language is how a text is written. Some use formal language, others use questions or lots of description. The tense and the person a text is written in is part of the language. So as we've already said, we're going to be doing informal. Okay? And you could use questions. You might want to ask why this is happening. Okay? And you might want to use some description. Okay, so let's have a look at the features of an informal letter. Okay, so we've got, there's an informal letter that I've done, okay, and this is what I'm going to be asking you to do, okay, so you can have, I won't read it all out to you, yeah, this will be in the pack as well, so you'll get the PowerPoint as well, and you can read this, okay, so address, an address is always part of a letter, Okay, and you can see there where you write your address. The date underneath the address. The greeting, so dear Mr. Johnson on this one. Now, I want you to have a think here. Would that be informal or formal? When you get your pack, have a look at mine and see that I used first names, I put dear Bob. Okay. To the reader, tell someone why you're writing. Are you writing to complain? What you want to know? Or are you writing because? Okay, so that first little bit should be why you're writing. Okay? And then at the end, you put your conclusion. So at the end, sometimes you just remind them of what you were writing about. So it just summarises, it brings together everything that you've put in the letter. Okay, and then you close. So if you are family or good friends, you might put love from. If you know the person's name, you might put yours sincerely. And if you don't know the name, you could put yours truly. You could also put yours faithfully as well. But for ours, we're doing informal. So you might put love from, you might put just from, you might put see you soon, and then your name. Okay. So... This is a little task if you want to do it, 
you can, this is formal or informal, you can put them into your own categories. Okay, you can have a little look at this at the end when you've done your letter. Okay, and steps for success because we're all going to be really successful. Uh, I know you're all going to try your best with this. So steps for success are use the letter structure, ask questions and please remember punctuation. Okay, so like I said, this will go in the pack and your work booklet as well and they'll all be online or we can get them sent out so good luck everyone